Christmas, everyone. and I was doing bits. But telling yourself you're not allowed something is awful. Hello, welcome to our baking show. I actually don't think I've opened my advent calendar on my video yet, so... It's day four. Cacao, the choice of warriors, adventures, and pleasure seekers for centuries. Well, I am a pleasure seeker, aren't we all? Little Christmas tree. Yes, chocolate for breakfast is only acceptable in December. It's different. Mm. One absolute hun of a day. Good morning, bloomies. <laughs> you said it, ah. You know, I knew you liked it. Oh, yeah. Good morning, Blue Me's no joking. Good morning or good evening, whatever time it is for you. Welcome back to my channel. I think I've got into a bit of a habit of vlogging on a Saturday. I just like it, because you know, not working, don't really know what we're gonna get up to. But I thought today I'd do a little bit of like a fitness kind of update, and I'd probably take you to the gym, because I wanna do an upper body workout a bit later today, whilst Chef Jeff is going to potentially his Christmas party, if he can stomach it after his big night at Stein's last night. Anyway, we're gonna grab a breakfast from Broad now. I know it looks like I go to Broad every single day, but I really only really have one like once a week. And obviously the rest of my diet is pretty healthy, so you can obviously have a pastry here and there. But it does definitely look like I go there every day because every time I'm vlogging, we go to Broad, mm -hmm. don't we? Yep. Anyway, we're gonna to go to town and see if we can do a bit of shopping because it's my birthday next week. So actually, when are you gonna tell me what we're doing? Maybe you could- Well, I was actually just about to do it, but you rushed me out of the house, so you have to wait till later. Why? But you can tell me when we're like out and about. Uh, tell me on the vlog, well, I don't I know what we're doing. you something, so. What the hell? I'm not going to tell you. So I'm not going to find out till later now, that's not fair. Hey, sorry if you can't hear me because of the wind. If you're not subscribed, do you subscribe <laughs> because I upload, I upload new videos every Wednesday and Sunday. Merry fucking Christmas, so I'm excited about that. You right, fella? How's it going? Yes, do subscribe and let's get into the video. Good <laughs> I'm COVID, my service automated, like data running through my veins. Got you distracted, subconscious overloaded Careful, don't pull the cord on me No time, no time to stay around Keep walking till you get out of my face Regress, restricted access I'm just a fly Show is falling All around me Children playing Having fun Merry Christmas Everyone Quite an event call in town, would you say? It was alright, I got this Oh, naughty Nice Got such an influencer That does look nice Mmm, okay Hold this clip. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, it's quite an eventful in town. I got that top that I showed you in the changing room. So I bought from SLA recently. They released like a sparkly suit. It's like a sparkly oversized blazer and sparkly trousers. It's like they're stunning. So I bought this like sparkly top to go underneath, which I showed you. I think we're gonna wear that on my birthday weekend, which obviously I still don't know where we're going. And then we went to Sainsbury's and bought stuff to make, we're gonna make chocolate orange cookies, like chocolate chip cookies tonight. So you will see them. And I haven't eaten lunch yet. All I've had is that pastry from Broad. So I'm gonna make like a Nando's chicken pitta now. I'm gonna cook two chicken breasts because I just need like a big hit of protein. So I'm gonna make like a chicken and hummus pitta. Jeff is gonna go out for his like work Christmas meal for a couple of hours. I think he's gonna tell me where we're going. Hopefully, so we can get excited. Maybe I'll start marinating my chicken now then. This is a good little hack for banging chicken. Like, just literally put your, you might do this already, but literally just put your marinade straight into the container so that you don't have to do any washing up or anything. So there's two chicken breasts in here. I'm just gonna like lather it in this and I'll probably cook it straight away, but if you've got time to leave it for a bit to marinate, then that's great. But yeah, I'm just gonna shove this in here and then start making my chicken soon. In three, two, one, this is gonna be marinated. Worst transition ever, probably, but yeah. Just put it in some white pitta, probably a bit of leaves and some cucumber and hummus. And then for dinner, I'm gonna make salmon tacos, like really quick, like I call them 10 minute salmon tacos. They're such a good dinner, especially if you're just eating for one. Like I'm just gonna make them for myself and it's just like 
easy, healthy, balanced, delish. So that'll be good. So, God, you've got a lot to look forward to. Make sure you're subscribed. Here he comes. You got a card for me. Why? Why's your card? What have you been chatting about? Uh, just been telling her about my Nando's chicken. All the interesting stuff, but never you mind what we've been talking about. That's just between you and I. What have we got here? Oh, why does it feel thick? Do they know about your birthday? We have we narrowed it down. Birthday. We narrowed it down to two places, didn't we? London and Cornwall. Apparently, we're going away for three days, staying in one place for two nights and another place for one night. But he's only telling me the first place we're going to. So you're gonna have to. She doesn't know anything. So listen, like whatever she just, you don't know nothing. Maybe so. that's what you said. Yeah, but either way, I you're can, gonna. I'm allowed to. I can lie. You're gonna have to stick around on the vlogs to find out. Happy birthday, beautiful. Yes. Let's have a sick time in London. Going to London, anyway. That's sick. Okay. That's just the first night. That's sick. Oh, we're doing on the Wednesday? Yeah. Oh my God, that's so good. But you don't know anything else yet. So I don't know where we're staying. I'm sure you said this video's gone on Wednesday, so then we'll be there. That's where we'll be when this video yeah, when goes video, out. When this video goes up, we're going to be here at Hyde Park. Winter Wonderland, that is class. I've never been there before. Well, there you go, we're gonna have a good time. Wednesday night. That's so fun. But I'm not saying anything else until we get there. That's all you know for now. Are we stay. She knows she's going out for a couple of meals. No, tube will be fun, but we get there about three. Okay, yeah. so that's all we know so far is that we're going to London. We're going to London, that's so cool. Yeah, and then you'll find out other things. So when, when will I find out where we're staying? When we get there, probably. Really? Yeah. Well, we're going to be in this together because you know as much as me at this point. Oh, I can't wait. Thank you. It's opened up a whole realm of opportunities of what the activities can be and what the meals can be. Like, if we're going to London, like, gosh, it could be absolutely anything. Like, it really branches it out. Back to London we go. If you've watched my London vlog, it's a banger. Link it up here. Lovely. Lovely. Actually feels sick, I'm so hungry. It's like four o'clock now and all I've eaten is that broad. So I'm gonna have this and then get ready to go to the gym. But just love this as like a quick, easy lunch option, like chicken, pita, hummus, cucumber, like you can't really go wrong. All right, before I go to the gym, I'm going to clear up this absolute bomb site, which is the kitchen. And I know how satisfying it is to kind of, not speed clean, because I'm not gonna time-lapse my clean, but in three, two, one, this is going to be lovely and spotless. A three, a two, a one. Yes, that's a little bit better, isn't it? All right, I am now ready for my evening gym sesh, but I'm gonna take with me a protein smoothie because if you know me, coffee machine on. If you know me, you know I like to have something to drink in the car on the way to the gym. This is a bit like a placebo for me, like it's part of my routine, so just having that drink and also that like taste of coffee just makes me think like, this is time to train. It's all about like those kind of mental habits, read atomic habits by James Clear and you will understand. So I'm gonna make my usual protein smoothie, which I make with frozen banana, ice, a shot of coffee, protein powder, some sort of nut butter and some almond milk. But I'm gonna do a shot of decaf in there. So I'm gonna brew that now. Then I'm just gonna share little handful of ice, I don't have much ice, but whatever, every little helps. Big half of a frozen banana, some almond milk. This is my favorite almond milk. You can get it in M&S. I like this for like cereal and protein smoothies. And then I like the mixed almond and oat milk. I'm pointing to it like you can see it for my coffees. So I'm gonna do like a big glug of almond milk and then I'm gonna top it up with water. Then I'm using the Sarah's Day Fit Protein. You can get it from the Tropica website, but it's a pea protein. I'm putting like an absolutely giant, like two tablespoons in there. So that'll be a good 20 Gs of protein, lovely. And then this is just the nut butter I always use in my smoothies. It's a cashew and hazelnut spread. It's from, I think you say it, Natura, but it tastes like Kinder Bueno. So I'm just gonna put a little, not much, it's probably like a teaspoon 
shove that in there shot of decaf because it's 5 p.m and if you have coffee after that time then well i just cannot relate you are obviously a sociopath a little dash of cold water there this is gonna be my pre-workout smoothie and like i said i've only had that chicken as my source of protein today so if i have this smoothie now and if i have my salmon tacos for dinner which will just be like a fillet of salmon then that should be a good amount of protein for me for today very important to hit your protein target oh yeah oh yes that angle is doing bits before I go, because obviously I do want to talk about my kind of Christmas attitude. There are so many healthy habits that do not need to be gone during this Christmas period. Like things like hitting your protein target, hitting a step goal, getting two litres of water in a day, getting your workouts in. All of those things do not need to be banished at all. You can literally carry on doing all of those things in December. And even better, usually you have extra calories, extra fuel to fuel those kind of workouts, especially if you're strength training, those extra calories are just chef's kiss, like boxing day workout, call me crazy, but I freaking love it. I think it's very clear when you don't have a balanced lifestyle, why you have that whole effort, it's Christmas mentality, because it's almost like you restrict, or I can't have this until Christmas, or I'm saving it up for Christmas, and then when Christmas comes, like you're just ravenous for like sweet treats and cakes and drinks and alcohol and whatever it is, and then, you just go from zero to a hundred, whereas you could just be sailing at like a level peg the entire time. And then that's just gonna be so much better for you mentally in the long run. And I think what I mean by that is, I always say like, don't restrict anything out of your diet. And it's just so important, like from a mental perspective to not tell yourself you're not allowed things. Like telling yourself you're not allowed something is awful. And it's just gonna make you want it even more. So like, why would you do it? Like. If it's Monday night and you want to have some chocolate and you're like, oh, I'm going to wait until the weekend. Come the weekend, you are literally going to be like a ravenous elephant, just like smashing in all this chocolate. And you're going to end up doing so much more damage than you would do if you just had some chocolate every day and didn't deem things as off limits. And what I've been saying to my clients loads was a lot of them have been coming to me saying, like, I'm really stressed about like staying on plan or on track over the Christmas period. And at the end of the day, it's not about staying on track per se. It's about eradicating the fact that there is a track. So gaining a few pounds over Christmas is not a problem at all. If anything, like, that's great. Like, enjoy yourself. It's not knowing how to lose it and then going straight back to some yo-yo fad diet and repeating the cycle again for another year. That is the problem. Not overeating at Christmas. Like, that is not a problem at all. Like, we all do it and we all should do it. Like, life is to be enjoyed. Having said that, you don't need to have that all or nothing approach. Just carry on the balance as you would the rest of the year. And if you're going out for a dinner with your friends or your family and whatever, amazing. Like have the cheesecake, have the roast turkey, like have the stuffing, have the gravy. And then the next day, just carry on as normal. If you've got no plans and the next day, amazing. Go do your workout, have some good chicken, have some good greens. Like it literally is all about balance and one meal out or whatever is not gonna make a difference. Like if you've got a Christmas party and you're worried about staying on plan, like, it's one evening out, like go and enjoy yourself and then don't get into the mentality of I've failed afterwards because that's what's gonna set you up for a fail because that's what bleeds into weeks and months if I've fallen off the wagon and that is where the weight gain is, the weight gain or whatever it is that you're not looking to achieve does not happen on that one Christmas party. Believe me, it's the weeks and months of I failed so I'm gonna just eat everything and be a slug. That is what the problem is. So. My whole attitude is just balance. Like Christmas for me, I love food. I am an absolute foodie. Like I love it. I love the cheese board. I love the apple crumble. I love the turkey. I love the stuffing. Like I love it all. And I do not restrict any of it. But the majority of the time I'm active. I hit my protein. I eat greens. I eat the rainbow. Like the majority of the time I'm healthy and have good habits. So if I wanna go out and have a party, have a load of gin, have a pizza, like it just doesn't make the difference. It's all about what you do 80% of the time consistently and I cannot stress that enough. So I really hope that if you have watched this video and you've been feeling a little bit concerned about staying on track over Christmas or you're worried about gaining weight over Christmas, don't worry. As long as you know your body and you know balance, and you know good habits, you can literally just like lose like those two pounds like two weeks after Christmas. It just doesn't matter. If you gain five pounds over Christmas, you can lose that by the end of January. Like it just does not matter. Gaining weight is not, not the problem. It's not knowing how to lose it. And with that said, the link to my nutritional coaching is in the description as always, if you want to work with me, but it probably will be January that I'm taking on people because I am full, but you're always welcome on the waiting list. 
always. Anyway, I'm aware that went on for a bit of a tangent and I'm hoping you're not bored by now because we are about to go to the gym with my delicious decaffeinated protein smoothie. So I'm gonna be really extra. I'm gonna take my full tripod to the gym because it's Saturday night and if, if anyone else is at the gym, I'm gonna say, what the fuck are you doing here? Go out and have some fun. And if they judge me for using a tripod, I'm gonna judge them for being in the gym. I know I'm in the gym, but I'm weird. workout done so I'm just having this for dinner they're just super quick salmon tacos really really easy I just poached some salmon and made a quick guac and then I've just added some cucumber for a bit of crunch the fridge stop making a noise I just used two mini wheat and white wraps for these so I'm gonna eat these and then we're going to bake some cookies and we will reconvene once I've had my post workout feed Great British Blooms Eats Bake Off. The Great British Bloom Off. <sighs> Hello, welcome to our baking show. In today's baking show, we are going to make chocolate orange cookies. This is the show we always wanted. I know. Which, uh, so Sunday brunch, Saturday morning with James, Ki James oh, I won't go over. Saturday kitchen with James Martin. It's all about this. Why don't we have our own, well, well this is, we're making our own show. Maybe we should start doing our this own more yeah, cook along with us. Like this video if you'd like a cook along series, because we are well keen. If you know me, if you know me, I don't really like to follow a recipe. However, I'm going to use this as a guide. Tasty.com chocolate chip cookies. We've substituted pretty much everything. So instead of brown sugar, we're going to use coconut sugar. Instead of bulk butter, we're using coconut oil. Instead of vanilla extract, we're using flavour drops. Instead of all purpose flour, we're using self raising. And instead of semi sweet chop chunks, we're using chocolate orange. So we're doing our own thing. That's what you want in it in your life at Christmas team. 100 grams of just like regular sugar. 101 grams, we're not precious here. No, no OCD in this house. Where with the um, coconut sugar, it's going to work as well as the. Um, just let's just do our own thing. We'll go 90 grams instead of. All right. Whatever they say. Whatever they say, whatever they do, I, I didn't mean, mean it. it. I just want, want you back for good. good. Want you back. Wash your back. Wash your back. Wash your back. Wash your back. Okay, half a cup of, we're going to use coconut oil. So we're going to need to melt this. We've had a bit of an angle change and Jeff has disappeared behind a mysterious cupboard. But update on things we don't have, uh, a whisk, a sieve, a microwave, and salted butter. And I think that's so far, that's about it. How are we going? You have a mixing bowl, you've got a mixing bowl. I've got a mixing bowl, haven't I? It's an Aldi special. Just got my sug in there so far. Alan's sugar, getting nice and, nice and married up to the coconut sugar. Tell me that this isn't how you break your chocolate orange, by the way. When I first met Jeff and did this, he was absolutely shook. This is the only way to break a chocolate orange. Lovely stuff, gonna 
chop this into chunks. Unfortunately, we're not well equipped with all the different camera angles, like they might be in some cooking show. How much choppy do we need? 100 grams. How much is in this? 157, so about, about two thirds. Who needs to measure stuff in this house? How's the butter going? Sounds like you're smashing it. We've got things under control here, Jess. Don't you worry about it. Here are our chocolate orange chunks. They will be going in shortly. One eternity later. Let's have it. Awesome. Sicker, we've got mixed butter and coconut oil going in. I reckon you maybe should have done that separately. Nah, garbage. You know what else we're lacking apart from the sieve and the whisk and all that stuff? It's a bit of positivity. That's what we're lacking in this kitchen. <laughs> I have it in abundance. I'm oozing with the stuff, the key ingredient, you might say. Uh, Chef right. Jeff, on the other hand, is like the opposite to the battery. It's like a Being a battery. realist. We don't, no, we don't, we don't nah, it's gonna be grand. Thank you. Look how nice this looks. Whisk in the egg and the vanilla. Can I do that? I want to whisk it. Yeah. We don't have a whisk. Yeah, mm. we're just gonna use this fork. <sighs> fork? Yeah. I want to whisk it. You don't need a whisk. Wow. Whisks yeah. are for losers. You make fantastic teacher, Harry. <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> I don't know why that fucking got me. Wow, look how creamy that looks. God, and you, you need to like calm down. We don't want to overbeat it. You don't ever watch Fake Off. Look, mate. You need to chill out. That's what you need to do. Going rogue. We don't, we don't follow the rules here. We are using my protein flavor drops. We'll just get a couple of these. Ooh, in there, lovely, lovely. Sift in the flour and the baking soda. Well, we're not sifting because we don't have a sieve. So you're just gonna get chucked in. 155 grams of ya. Right, we need one and a quarter cups of flour. I enjoy cooking bacon and stuff working with flour. I enjoy cooking yeah. bacon and stuff working with flour. Ah, uh, locked down there. One and a quarter cups. Well, can I have a chop? Great. If this isn't the favourite part of bacon, I don't know what is. Right, flour and half a teaspoon of baking soda bought specifically for this. Can you open that please? Thank you very much. You're trying to open it. Hurry up! It's got the thing on it. Yeah, I know, but I thought you just twist it and it breaks. Oh. Really sorry for shouting. Yeah. Jess is the most impatient person on the planet. I was in the middle of trying to figure it out. Open. Woohoo! She said that's about a quarter of a teaspoon. Yeah. Although we're using self raising flour, so actually we didn't really need to do that, did we? Get these chunk of Roonies in. Why is everything Rooney? Rooney! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, this is what we have to work with so far. So we'll just stir these chunks in, shall we? Alright, here is our cookie dough with the chocolate orange chippies. So, should we roll them up and then get them, get them in the oven? Yeah. 12 to 15 minutes, ready, steady, bake. <laughs> okay. Cookies done, looking delish. They're quite flat, but I think that's because we use coconut oil and not all butter. Actually, I've got no idea what that is because I'm not a baker and um, we just wung it. Ready? Good. Should we try? Uh-huh. Okay, going in. Mmm. Oh my god, really chewy. Oh my god, really chewy. Right, in a good way. I'm here for they it. They taste really good. Uh-huh. I love a cookie, which has a bit of a crunchy edge, but like really chewy and gooey in the middle. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm impressed with us. The recipe should be on my Instagram. So it's the adaptation from the tasty recipe, which is called the best chewy chocolate chip cookies, but obviously we completely did our own thing, because Legends. All right, cookies done. Time for I'm a Celebrity and chill. And we're both gonna have another cookie, but we're gonna wrap up this 
video now. I really hope you enjoyed watching this one. I hope it was helpful in some way in terms of like staying balanced over Christmas. And I just hope you enjoyed watching us cook and maybe you got some food inspo from some of the stuff I've eaten today. Who knows? But either way, please give this video a like because it really helps the algorithm on YouTube for other people to discover this delightful video, but it also helps people discover my channel, which is fairly new. So please subscribe. I upload new videos every Wednesday and Sunday. The next video, or maybe the one after the next video, is going to be my birthday fun weekend, which you know half the plan about, as do I. We're going to London, and one of the activities is going to Hyde Park in Tonterland. Woo! So we'll take you with us, so come along for the ride, subscribe, come and get on board with the lols that is this channel, and I'll look forward to seeing you in the next video, which will be on Sunday, so we'll see you Sunday. Can't wait. Bye. Bye, Felicia.